What If Pig by Lindsay Hunter Hello, what if you had a friend like Pig? What if he was the nicest pig you'd ever met? What if he was incredibly kind, fabulously fun, and endlessly generous? What if you felt pretty lucky to have a friend like Pig? That's how Mouse felt. In fact, that's how everyone felt about Pig. Pig was so kind and so generous and so much fun that he had a brilliant idea. What if I throw a party? Party checklist. Decorations, hats, snacks on sticks, no sausages, cake and donuts, top tunes, make invitations, fancy invitations, games, prizes for all. Pig's party was sure to be the talk of the town. But what if Pig had a secret? Pig was a tremendous worrier, a porky panicker, a proper nervous Nelly. What if I've made a terrible mistake? What if a ferocious lion eats all the invitations, or worse? eats all the guests. What if everyone gets stuck in a massive blizzard? What if nobody comes? Or worse? What if everybody comes and has an absolutely awful time? What was he thinking? Lame. Trevor had a chocolate fountain and an ice sculpture. What if no one really likes me at all? I know, what if I cancel the party? Tell everyone I'm sick, go to bed, and never leave the house. Okay, pig. If you're sure. Hey, what if we go for a little walk? What if I always feel sad? Don't worry, pig. Things don't stay gray for very long. Surprise! Maybe we're more alike than we think. What if we all talked about our worries? I worry that no one can tell I'm a horse. My ears are too small. I worry that I'll look silly. We're scared of water. Me too. I'm slow. I'm not even outdoorsy. I get really nervous around cats. Mousy, yay! Mouse, what if I have the kindest, most generous, and fun friends a pig could meet? Yes, pig, what if?